What's up, YouTube? This is Wizard Day Two One here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix any errors that iTunes is giving you when you're trying to downgrade firmwares. So this will work on pretty much any version of iOS, whether that be 4.3.4 or 4.2.9, or anything in the future to come, or any previous versions of iOS. This is all universal. This will all work the same, just like downgrading. So I'm pretty much going to go start to finish on how to finish how to fix any error that iTunes gives you. I'm going to fix the most common errors as well as some of the lesser common errors. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to accomplish is error 3194 or rather the iTunes or the iPod or the iPhone or the iPad isn't eligible for the requested build. It's the same thing as error 3194. And that happens because either you cannot connect to your SSH blobs or you don't have any SSH blobs saved on file. So to figure that out, what you gotta do is, op is download a program known as Tiny Umbrella. And it looks like that kind of. And mine's already opened up. And just wait for it to load up there. And this is what it kind of looks like. And what it does is you've never ever jailbroken before then most likely this process will not work for you because, well, you have never even heard of SHSH blobs probably. But pretty much this gives you a summary of all of your SHSH blobs that you've ever saved. See here, this is my iPod, and these are all the blobs that I have saved. And this also gives you some other information, what firmware I'm on right now, and stuff like that. Go ahead, click the log here. That's going to give you pretty much everything about the iPod and all that sorts of stuff there and what firmware it's been on and whatnot. And next, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to the Advanced tab. Now, this is pretty much you want to have all these boxes checkmarked. Otherwise, most likely, you will get that error that says the iPod or iPhone or iPad isn't eligible for the requested build. Like I said, if you don't have SHSH blobs, this will not work for you. So moving on, the second reason why you could be getting that error, and let me open up Safari here, I've got so many tabs open, is that these IP addresses are not properly pasted in your host file. You want to make sure that both of them are pasted in the host file, both of these IP addresses right here, and you want to make sure that there's no hash or pound symbol in front of them. What I mean by the hash or pound symbol, if you've never seen one of these before, hopefully ScreenFlow will pick up on this, but if not, this is what it looks like, like that, a hash or pound symbol, depending on what country you live in. You want to make sure those are in without that symbol, otherwise it'll say Oh, there's a hash symbol. I'm just going to bypass that and not look at that. That's what that hash symbol does. So you want to make sure that that symbol is not there. That could also be the reason why it's not connecting to your SHSH blobs. Next, we're going to move on and fix some other errors. The first error that we could be getting, or the, really the second error that we can be getting, is the iPhone cannot be restored. Error 20. This is an issue to do with connecting to the server, and that is a firewall issue. So what you're going to go ahead and do is open up System Preferences, and navigate to the security tab just like that now shut up and then go into your firewall and you will see if you have your firewall on all you gotta do is type in your password I'm not going to do that right now and then once you've authenticated that properly you're just going to go ahead and press stop and you're good to go now I doubt you have any antivirus software installed on a Mac since it is a Mac but if you do you're gonna have to disable that firewall as well so that should fix error 20 the next error that you can get is error 1600, error 1502, error 1402, whatever. That means that for some reason your device cannot be restored to a stock firmware and you have to build a firmware just specifically for that device. What you need to do for that is download a program known as Ponage Tool for Mac. And you can get this from the Dev Team blog, this website right here. And just scroll down and you will see that is what you can get it as a .torrent extension. In this case, you need a tor BitTorrent client or transmission or something like that in order to download it. Or you could just go ahead and get a direct download from one of these mirrors right here. And that will give you a ponage tool. And one more thing to know, I forgot to mention this earlier, is this is the website to get a... Uh, um, what's it called? Tiny Umbrella from. This will also be, every link will be in the video description, just so you guys know. So once you have go, gone ahead and downloaded Ponage Tool, just go ahead and open it. I'm just going to do a quick guide right now. Mine's already open. Choose Expert Mode, whatever device. I'm going to choose the iPod Touch for now. I'm sure I've got some sort of firmware for the iPod Touch um, in my computer somewhere. It looks like I've got a bunch, so we're going to just choose 4.3.3 for now. This is very simple. This will guide you through everything. 
And once that circle circle finishes circling, come on. There we go. It's going to give you this. Um, you don't really have to worry about much here. If you want to go ahead and adjust some settings here, you can go ahead and do so. But I wouldn't touch um, the root or whatever that thing is, what I say, the root partition size. Do not touch that. But what you want to go ahead and do is click build, and that will just build an IPSW. Go ahead and save that to the downloads, and then you're going to restore it to that IPSW. Make sure it says custom restore it. That way you know which one you're restoring to. And that should fix error 1600, error 1602, whatever. Also, one thing to note is that if you do get an error during this process, that it seems like you've gotten that error after the uh, software has been put on your device, after you've seen that bar come on, come on the screen of your iPod, iPhone, or iPad, and it's gone fully across, and you've seen that thing go all the way across, and you've gotten an error afterwards, well, for that, you can use RecBoot. This will actually kick you out of recovery mode because iTunes thinks or iTunes says you can't downgrade, but yet it still put the cuts it still put the firmware on the device. So all you gotta do is open up RecBoot exit only, which comes from here, and just press exit recovery mode and it that's it, then you're done, then you're out of recovery mode, your device has successfully been downgraded. The next thing to note is that if you get an error and RecBoot doesn't take it out, you're gonna have to do a hard reset. And if you don't know what a hard reset is, all you got to do is hold the home and the power button or the home and sleep wake button simultaneously until the Apple logo appears. And this will like kind of take your device out of DFU mode or recovery mode. And you should be go good to go from there if you choose not to downgrade or you just are afraid your device is brick. But don't worry, none of these things will brick your device. So anyway, guys, that's about it for all the errors that um, kind of covered. I tried to cover all of them. Uh, if there are any more errors that you guys are getting, these are the most common ones, like I said. Just um, leave me a comment below. Tell me what error you're getting. I'll try to do some more research to try to fix all these errors. But like I said, if you're getting error 3194 or if you're getting um, the iPod isn't eligible for the cust is not eligible for this build or whatever it is, then that means that you have to have SSSX blobs and you don't. And you've gone through this video and you've done everything right and you still... Don't, whatever. You could also um, contact me on Twitter at Daniel J. Stein or just leave me a comment in this video or send me a YouTube inbox. Anything if you need help. But for now on, for now, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.